Right. Um, so that was just uh, thought we'd need to liven up before lunch. We all need some uh, energy going on. Thank you very much, everybody. Fabulous, amazing. Um, so good morning, and I think I'll quickly start um, the proceedings. Greetings, everybody. Thank you very much to the delegates here today. And I hope you've had an enlightening morning thus far. That um, copy, um, that copy talk was brilliant. And I've just pending, I'm, you're pending, you're making me wait to join you on LinkedIn, uh, Lisa. So I'm hoping that you'll, uh, you'll let me in soon. Um, we uh, thank you very much to Independent Schools Portal. And thank you very much to Alicia for inviting me today. This is my second ever uh, conference speech. So any feedback and tips will be greatly received and cash will be good. And I'm presuming Alicia will uh, go around with a hat afterwards. So thank you, Alicia, for doing that. My name is Tom Rogerson. I have been the headmaster of Cotsmoor Prep School in West Sussex for 13 years. Um, I've lived here for 45 years on and off. Uh, I've been working in the independent sector for 29 years, started at 15. That sounds a bit of uh, extreme, but it's true. And this is my 13th uh, year of headship. I was educated at Cotsmoor and Eton and Cambridge, and I've since taken only one year out of teaching in order to work in the music industry, funnily enough. And it turned out that um, talent was a, a, an issue. So um, I, I moved swiftly back to teaching and uh, generally being um, uh, helpful to children and others. My only other aspiration is to become a rock star, and I hope to pick up on this in retirement. And uh, I'm in a rock band called Replicant Saints. Uh, we met at school. I'd like to start a band made up of headmasters. Anybody out there who knows a, a headmaster? We cannot find a drummer, bit of a problem. And uh, my wife wants me to get rid of some of my 24 guitars. So before that happens, please do, um, please do make sure that uh, you apply to be the drummer of the Heads Band. Any names for the bands, by the way? Uh, a band of heads, um, not, not, don't be rude, but in the chat, uh, obviously, we, we, we want some uh, name, names for, for, for a, a band of, of heads. Um, so uh, talking heads, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, I, I can think of other things, but don't, um, don't, don't write those in the, in the chat. Good. Um, so my job at Cotsmore is to uh, combine Cotsmore's 125 year uh, story of academic and sporting excellence with a fresh and dynamic vision to ensure that Cotsmore continues to deliver a world class education uh, to prep school aged girls and boys for the next 100 years. Um, we expect the traditional values instilled at Cotsmore to be reflected in the girls and boys actions socially, creatively and intellectually both today and in the future, uh, in their future uh, professional lives. These enlightened enriching principles help girls and boys negotiate an unpredictable future with kindness, with intellectual agility, flexibility and social acuity, hopefully. Ofsted labelled uh, uh, Cotsmore outstanding in their last inspection. The Independent Schools Inspectorate found Cotsmore to be excellent in uh, the most recent reports. Um, introducing Cotsmore, uh, I'm going to start, and I'm hoping that the technology is the same as when I do a, um, uh, a morning assembly. Is that working, Alicia? I think so, yes. Good, good. Uh, Sophie, is that working? I can see your screen. Yep, that looks good. Brilliant. And we got that there, have we? So just to give you some uh, geographical context, um, Cotsmore is uh, here. Scrolling back, uh, it's just a pin, you know, a pin drop down from, uh, from, from, from London there. On the way to Brighton, we are on uh, old, uh, on old um, documents. They say we're halfway between Balham and Brighton. That's a good way of remembering where we are. And Google Maps is so awesome, isn't it? You can just go really quickly in there and there is Cotsmoor with our you know, fields and lake there. And I'm sitting right in there right now. I'm in that study right there. So that's the con geographical context of Cotsmoor. Um, but we are a seven day a week boarding prep school for girls and boys on the border of Surrey and Sussex. The school was named boarding school of the year by the Times Educational Supplement 2019 and Prep School of the Year by Tatler last term. Um, we were founded in 1894 and Cotsmore is in its um, 127th year. Uh, and just to get a little bit more context, um, and it's quite key, 
uh, all this stuff. Um, I'm just going to play while I talk um, there a video of the school. Just to say some of the practical tips of um, getting a drone video uh, in. And I think you all know, you're all, you're all experts. You know, I'm, I'm looking at some experts here, but, you know, just make sure the school is at its absolutely most glorious. You know, uh, booking them in, in on the 8th of February is probably not a particularly brilliant idea. So get them down when the rhododendrons are out, when everybody's, you know, outside, when the grass is green, all of that, uh, all that stuff. This is, this is a guy called um, Ben from Drone Air in Brighton who did this video. It's only one minute long. You know, it's an introduction, geographical uh, introduction to Cotsmoor. And he is superb, actually, Ben. I can give you his give you his number. It's quite old, actually, this, because the girls no longer do rounders, but um, we need to do another one soon. But I, I loved this one, so I haven't changed it. Um, so we have... Um, I'm just going to go back to the... Oh, there we go. So that's Cotsmoor. I'm sitting right... This is what I wanted to show you. I'm sitting right in there, in the study, right there. This is the Rose Garden where we have match tees and these are the grass tennis courts and uh, lots of stuff going on. So that's the main academic hub. That's the um, covered astro, et cetera, et cetera. So that was a, a key thing to get right. And I uh, hope if I, yeah, if I just get rid of that and stop sharing maybe. There we go. Um, so that's, that's, that's Cotsmoor. Um, we're a prep school. We've been around for a long time. And um, I think the context really of this, the most important piece of context of this, is that I, for many, many years, and still a little bit frustrated about it, but um, it seems as though the more you talk about your school and the more marketing and the more PR you do, the more people you find out who've literally never heard the word Cotsmore uttered in their entire life. And um, it's frustrating. And I know that everybody's going, yes, I understand the pain. And it, it, it doesn't necessarily translate to the classroom because people are, are very much getting on with their own lives. And so you sort of hold this sort of frustration yourself, the marketing department, the, the heads. And of course, some people know about you, but it's, um, it's that element that drives me forward that I keep on meeting people who haven't heard who we are. And it's deeply frustrating, but that is, you know, you need frustrating things to drive you in life. So that's where this, this comes from, this talk. Today, I'd like to talk about helpfulness. I'd like to talk about authenticity. I'd like to talk about creativity, connectivity, timeliness, and fun. And I think uh, um, Alicia was very keen on the fun element of um, uh, things, which is why she invited me today. Um, you've got to shine a light, you've got to shine a light. It's our responsibility to shine a light on all of the wonderful things going on within our school and then project them out as brightly and as beautifully as you possibly can. And the feelings of those things outside the school, much like a bat signal, like a Batman signal shining forth upon the clouds. You've got to get that light of your school outside. There's such burning, wonderful, sparkling light uh, that you need to get out there. Um, it's very similar to the philosophical notion of the tree falling in the woods. Um, hopefully not the bear in the woods, but the tree in the woods. And um, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there, does it even make a sound? That's the, that's the philosophical notion. And if wonderful things are happening in your school and no one is there to capture them and project them outwards, did they even happen? That's a very sort of post-millennial sort of attitude to have on life, isn't it? Um, but to rely on the girls and boys at your school to translate that wonder and excitement back to the parent body is taking a huge risk. Um, children live in the moment. They will tell their parents the thing that happened four minutes ago. They won't remember the thing that happened, especially in a boarding school where they might be uh, at the school for extended periods of time. They would have forgotten the awesome kind of 80 things that have happened. Um, so you've got to shine the light outwards. Uh, you've got to project outwards. Don't uh, leave it to chance. Publish the wonder publish the excitement, the brilliance of the teaching, the activities, the fun, the silly, the personal moments, as this is what the school is. The school isn't um, a, a string of A-star grades 
the school isn't your glass sided science block that you've just spent eight million pounds on. Um, the school is a series of explosively wonderful moments strung together by people interacting with each other um, and with the environment that you've created in your school. That's what the school is. Um, it's not the, the, the bricks and mortar. It's not the, 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 the glass sided science block. Um, capture those moments, capture that essence, the quintessential moments, the quizzical thinking moments, and the moments that make your school special. Um, no one, frankly, wants to see another staged photo shoot, although we have many photos from a staged photo shoot, um, especially not on social media. Um, they're, they're lovely, and the, but they're inauthentic. Um, they show the school, like that drone footage, of course, that was all set up. It's very lovely to see, but if you want true engagement, it's got to be authentic. Um, they want to see authenticity. They want to see fun, joy. They want to see interaction. They want to see idiosyncrasy. They want to see humanity. They want to relate. That's what they want most of all. When I say they, anyone uh, that's looking at the school on these, uh, on these media. So um, just to say very quickly that we decided we didn't furlough any uh, part of uh, the PR function. In fact, Lucy, who I ho hope's here, she could easily say hi. Lucy, do you want to say unmute and say hi? Lucy Brearley is here and she uh, very much helps uh, very strongly with the, um, with the program and very much, are you there? Uh, very much. I am here, yes. Uh, hi, just to say hi, great to have you supporting me, uh, 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 you know, and, and very, very kind of you to be there. I might, I might call upon you in a sec. Um, but uh, no furloughing on that front. And in fact, tripling down, if not quadrupling down on our efforts to uh, raise the consciousness of Cotsmore um, in people's homes then, because obviously everybody had to be at home. Everybody was rather terrified and, um, uh, and uh, was house, were housebound. And this was the moment, we, the opportunity that we, we took. It was gonna take great, um, uh, great commitment while running the school at the same time, but we, uh, we did it. Um, so helpfulness, uh, I wanted to talk about one of the key pieces of texture in our personal PR and marketing strategy is the concept of usefulness or helpfulness. Um, fine, it's all very well you saying, well, look at our wonderful result. Oh, look at our swimmer. She, you know, she started at Cotsmore and she, she's now being trialed for the Olympics. Aren't we wonderful? Uh, no, you're not that wonderful. The child's wonderful. Uh, you're, you're, you provided a brilliant um, sort of atmosphere for them to become brilliant. But you know, that, that's the sort of thing that, that is um, constantly, we're putting it up all, all the time. But it's gotta be balanced with genuine uh, helpfulness and a genuine, genuine um, need or want to help, uh, uh, help people and to be, to be useful. Um, it's great for your mental health too. Helping other people is obviously great for your own mental health. Uh, and, and that's a very important thing. So the ways in which we uh, did that were, uh, we started something called Cotsmore Connected. Um, and I've got a note to show the website here. So Cotsmore Connected, uh, there we go. Um, I'm gonna share again. Um, so, um, when it comes up, I, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. But this is, um, this is the reload. Um, I've got to talk to my IT department. There we go. Um, so the Cotsmore Connected webinar series, you can see, I'll, I'll scroll just here. It started with uh, the idea that we wanted to help. I was actually, before the lockdown started, my, um, my, uh, my uh, brother-in-law came down with his family. And they were saying, we do not have a clue what's going on. We don't know what's going on. We are terrified. What's, ho what's home learning? What's anything? Um, people were sort of really up a gum tree. They didn't know what they were doing. And so I thought, right, that's it. I'm starting a, uh, a webinar series. We called it Cotsmore Connected Webinars. And we started with Sir Anthony Seldon, which was a, an explosive way to start. He wouldn't stop walking around the garden. And it was all a bit sort of, ah, you know, very anti seldonish and energetic. And, uh, but that was a brilliant, a brilliant, brilliant start. And then we had Mark Steed and various people. Um, we had the most popular one, actually, numbers wise, was Eve Jardine Young. I don't know if you know her, but um, she is a brilliant, brilliant person. And um, she, you know, that was our most popular one yet. So it's being helpful. It's um, putting yourself out there and talking to people, 
I love talking to people um, and that is, I've used that sort of passion, that, that love of talking to people um, to try and help. So um, the remit slightly widened as the parents became more comfortable with the new paradigm and we started to market the talks to anyone. So um, anyone can come to the talks now. And um, I'll show you um, in a bit uh, the LinkedIn profile and you can see some of the talks coming up. Um, maybe I should do that now. Um, we have the talks coming up. Oh, well, there we go. Tim Hans. Um, you must have heard of the, uh, the news of Winchester taking girls, which um, in the grand scheme of things is small fry because lots of people have, have done that. But in terms of Winchester and, um, uh, and, and the world of Winchester, that's a very, very big piece of news. So uh, very luckily, he has said that he would speak to us after half term. Uh, that's Jeremy Horton with a bit of charity stuff. And then this one's another big one, um, Priya uh, Lakani. I don't know if you've heard of her, but she is the CEO, founding CEO or founder CEO of Century Tech. And um, she is a, a brilliant, brilliant person and she's going to talk to us. And so th th there again, um, she, uh, we are putting together this, um, this series of, um, of webinars. Um, so that I, I would recommend that hugely. Um, get on the phone, call people. It's an amazing experience. It's amazing what you can achieve with a little bit of chutzpah um, and getting on the phone and um, uh, asking people to talk. We've also got um, Benedin, uh, Sam Price, and we've got Dominic Luckett, uh, Sherban, uh, on uh, coming on as well. Uh, the other one is Cotsmore Talks. Uh, these are um, things that happen um, these are uh, lectures, it's a lecture series essentially, Cotsmore Talks, and we invite the primary school. So we're connecting again, connectivity, we're connecting with uh, the local primary schools, Colgate Primary School, Handcross Primary School, uh, Balkan primary, primary School. Um, we're trying to reach out and it's sometimes difficult to do that, but uh, we reach out and we invite them in and they came to a wonderful science uh, day of explosions and uh, put on by the Royal, is it called the Royal Institute? Um, so that was that. That's something else we do to to reach out and be helpful. Um, another way to be helpful and to market at the same time is uh, charity. Um, now I'm going to show you. And apologies, to people who've seen this. I'm going to show you uh, something I did for charity, um, and here it is uh, right now. And I'm going to sort of talk through it at the end of the school. Yeah, there we go. Um, just going to show you this quickly. Yes, Mrs. Thompson, full steam ahead for September. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yes, Mrs. Thompson, full steam ahead for September. Yes, everything is normal. Indeed, dorm tree falling all along. Yes. <laughs> yes, you challenged me to jump in the lake. No, no, I'm definitely not doing it. I know. Yes, I know. A few corona pounds, nothing major. No, I can't get an appointment. Yeah, I've got a full on mullet. I just chuck it into my collar for Zoom calls. All right. Yes, indeed. Yeah. It's the end of what? It's the end of the. It's the end of the school year. Of course. But anyway, thank you. Have a lovely summer holiday. Bye. Okay. Bye. I th if you can hear me, you can um, say while doing things for charity and while putting Cotsmore out there. Um, uh, this you can you can see that I'm showing Cotsmore off. You'll see what I mean in a second. You can see that I'm uh, very silt like and fit in this particular video. That's not the real code, by the way. So you can see that I'm, I'm in doing this sort of co comedic sort of video uh, or attempt at comedy anyway. Um, that I'm sharing off the, the just sheer joy and beauty of the of the school. And I think that's quite important, whatever you're doing. Slow down a bit there. So here we come to the charity bit.
school year. It's a bit more nippy than I thought it was going to be, actually. This is my favorite bit coming up here with the elevator music. Anyway, there we go. So, um, stop share. Um, so that was uh, the charity lake jump. And there've been a series of videos that le led up to that. Um, so I started with a very silly one where uh, I said, oh, it's the end of term, similar thing on the phone, and then proceeded to run away from the camera, um, throwing uh, off the shackles of the tie and the, and the, and the jacket, Sophie's nodding her head, uh, and remembers that one. And that's where it all started. It was trying to be under a minute, but I was, you know, that's, that's if you're going to do videos like this, keep them under a minute, um, because you can put them on Instagram and they, they don't go into the IGTV thing. Um, but you know, that was it. So there were four of them. And then after that, there was one of getting out of the lake, which was not, you know, it didn't have quite so much traction, but it, people seem to enjoy that as well. Um, so the charity element is hugely important, raised some like, I don't know, a thousand five hundred pounds, um, pretty, pretty quickly and easily for, for, for that. But, um, it's a very important part of, um, uh, um, um, um the, the whole situation. And it serves many purposes. Above all, the charitable action is great lesson, a great lesson for the girls and boys at the school. Um, it may seem a bit self-congratulatory to be posting about your charity wins the whole time, but actually what you're doing is you're raising awareness of the specific charities like Heartfelt Tips that we've just done, whacking it all over LinkedIn. I'm helping Jeremy Horton uh, by publicizing it as well um, as uh, sort of shining a light on, on, on Cotsmore. And, um, uh, and, and also just raising the idea of charity generally in everybody's minds, which can never be a, a bad thing. So the remote learning offering, I wanted to very quickly talk about every opportunity is a, uh, an opportunity to market. So um, the, I'm gonna show you this, uh, quickly show you this remote learning uh, booklet. We decided that the remote learning program, the school was completely changed. In fact, it's a different school. You might as well be in Guatemala, you know, it doesn't matter where you are. So it became very, very important to market to our, ourselves even, and to our uh, parent body, the idea of our new school. Um, so this is um, the new school, uh, uh, sort of the remote learning program, sort of the new school effect was uh, put together in a, a new, we made a new prospectus. Um, so we um, had, Booked in photographers, uh, again, you know, trying not to be too staged, but um, obviously some of these are. And we put it out there as, as, as if they were buying into a new school. Every opportunity taken, beautiful images. Um, Lucy was very good at managing this photographer. I can't remember which photographer this was, um, but it's um, there they are there. Um, so that's what we did. So very quickly show you that we took the opportunity to sell to rebrand Cotsmore really as a completely different school so that was an interesting uh, thing to do and I think some other schools did that uh, very well too um so you know we we we, we went all out we took 50 percent off fees um and we did a full program of live lessons um you know 10 sessions a day so um, so moving on from that, so everybody knows about that. You've all been living it. You don't, I don't need to sort of, um, you know, be, to talk to you too much. It's um, you know, something you already know. So I just wanted to say something really quickly about, um, hopefully this will take like 40 seconds. Um, I keep, I store and circulate positive messages that have been written to us from parents um, and from anybody actually. And so I circulate them to the teachers. I circulate them to uh, the govern governors, the governor's advisors. I circulate them to anybody who I have the email address of in, you know, internally. It's really an internal thing. But also, you probably would have seen, uh, those of you who follow on LinkedIn or other media, uh, that I make little um, sort of vignettes, little, little um, posters almost of the quote. Some of them are really, really long, uh, so you've got to condense them. But... Um, that's really important. Actually, having said that, I read, I often read other schools and I think, oh, goodness, yeah, 
I, it's like oh, jeepers creepers i don't want to know about that you're just showing off in fact i i know that people are thinking that when they read our ones because i think that about other schools i do it anyway because it's such an important narrative really important narrative that uh, you've got these very very grateful and happy people in your community very very important um so quick and i spent more than 40 seconds saying that um but yeah celebrate victories celebrate your own victories and i'm slightly worried about time um alicia uh but um don't, i want to don't worry we've got lunch no, next, great. So okay I'm well sure in which case can... i'm gonna show you and it's always always surrounding the lake i don't know why the lake is such a draw um but i'm probably not going to show you this whole thing in fact i won't show you this whole thing um but i will show you just this uh and i will share this uh, little video of the acceptance speech. So um, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. That is, I'm going to just say that a lot. Celebrate everything publicly. You know, people aren't gonna celebrate for you. You're going to be, um, you know, you, you need to celebrate yourself because the moment will be over. The moment is very, very much, these moments are so transitory and fleeting. Celebrate the coolness of the situation right now. Don't wait till next month to celebrate because maybe, what, that, what's that award? I can't, well, whatever, we don't care. So celebrate in the moment, literally on the day even. Uh, and this is the acceptance speech for um, Tatler. I will only play up to the bit that's the sort of the, the, the bit, or maybe no, well, let's see how we go. What an honor this is. Thank you, Tory Gadagan and the TAP team for awarding Cotswold this Prep School of the Year award. Thank you to Rotten Robson, my wife. Thank you to the Cotswold team. Ah. Cotswold parents, the Cotswold children, Everybody who's been involved in the last year. Oh. Sorry about that. Thank you to Catherine Rogerson, Mark and Michael and Mary Rogerson for passing on such an inspiring place and a glorious canvas on which to paint our hopes and dreams. Only a, only a minute to go. It was a great platform, actually, this to, to, to express how I really feel, this whole thing of passion and love that needs to go into education. You'd never imagine it now, but in every one of my adult decades, I've been in Tatler, starting with the starry-eyed youth in a fall to tune on... Sorry about this. ...and now this. Moving on swiftly. This is fantastic. Thank you again, Tory Kadabin, for the TAP team. Hopefully see you soon. I'll speak about that cricket one in a sec. So there we go. Um, so I use the same music in a lot of these just to just to sort of have some sound branding going on. It's actually free from i uh, yeah iMovies. Uh, I'm going to get off that and stop sharing. So um, celebrate outwardly. Show everybody you're celebrating, and do it immediately. Otherwise, it's a little bit. Um, you know, it, it's a little bit passe. Um, authenticity, be true to your message. Repeat this truth as often as you feel like it. Uh, the message has to be good enough and true enough to repeat constantly and to everyone. Everyone you meet, everyone you meet on the street, everyone you meet down the pub, everyone you meet uh, at the point to point, Plumpton point to point, tell everyone. Uh, but the message has to be really good. Um, people seem to have an aptitude for forgetting your message. So repeat it often um uh until they remember it they apparently you need to know something or you need to hear something eight times before you buy it and i think it's probably right before it actually lodges in the in the memory eight times they have to say it so repeat your message being true to yourself accepting your flaws and building on your strengths is a vital part of marketing um so but if you don't want to jump into the lake don't um embrace your own style uh, try not to copy somebody else's shtick. Uh, perhaps knuckle down to some serious academic discussion on video. Um, if you're a connective type of person, have a debate. 
um, whatever it is within the protagonist's character, exploits that, develop that, harness it, magnify it. Uh, this truth will speak to everybody watching. Uh, virtual open mornings, um, got to be authentic if you're a school like Cotsmore, a boarding school, a prep school uh, for children from the age of 8 to 13. It's got to be authentic. We know the schools who are super, super slick and everything is, you know, everything is very, very slick and, and, and very corporate. Um, we, you know, we, we don't have, you know, that sort of in us. Uh, we're more down to the authentic, the fun, the upbeat and the personal. So I had a, um, a virtual open morning the other day. It was the, the most we've had. We've had a very low engagement like six months ago for one of our London ones. And this one, it was loads of people. And I said, hey, you know, come and come and talk to me afterwards. And so kept the Zoom open, talk to people. It was very uh, have a coffee, you know, a coffee morning type type affair. And that's how we go. Um, I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to, I should show you this. Um, uh, I'll quickly try and uh, try and show it to you. Uh, the scooter vid, I will, I will literally whiz through at great pace. 15 seconds of this, because um, it's a bit long. I found out afterwards the scooter was only for 12 year olds and downwards, so I hope I didn't do any damage to the scooter. Etc. Etc. Et so, and then I go round, and there's a sort of moment of, um, uh, this, yeah, whatever. But so authenticity um you know and, and and showing it like it is showing it very much uh, 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 as an authentic thing um i've written down here uh, the power of empathy um that is i think possibly that might be one of the very top things the power of empathy um and feeling the moment feeling the parental moment feeling the national moment feeling the global moment with your with your projections empathy so so important and this is um you know there are some silly videos and there are some um you know whatever serious videos and there's some cotsmore connected speaking to some very very brilliant and intelligent people there's texture but um and this is i'm just going to again show you maybe 20 seconds of this this is just a little bit of texture showing here um that it was actually quite a sad poem that i wrote uh saying the school misses the children and so I published it and it didn't get, you know, huge traction because people much prefer like bright happiness uh, uh, on social media and, 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 and in the various media. But I put this out there to, to give a bit of texture and to show empathy. Um, so this was it. The School is Alive by Tom Rogerson. The school is alive and it misses the children, their laughter, their movement, their soul. The school is alive and it misses the children. We can't wait till we're back as one whole. The hollow oak waits for the climbers to climb her. The monkeys are calling their names. The bamboos are patiently waiting for revelers to appear for their free time and games. So it goes on like that. Um, I'm just going to quickly stop sharing again. I'd like to come back to you. Um, so the power of empathy. Everybody is feeling super stressed and super sort of... Um, uh you know uh, worried about the whole thing and and so was i and you know we were it is not the school is it we were missing the children so that was that that was what was projected there and the power of empathy that that was very very important um what's the nation going through what's the world going through um do we need to bring levity do we need to bring gravity you know what do you need to bring at that particular moment to the world to help people um so um you know, uh, if there's anything fun going on globally, like uh, memes of Bernie S uh, Sanders and knitted gloves, get involved, jump on the bandwagon, you know, have some fun. But at the same time, if something uh, difficult is going on, then then reflect that in, in your output. Be empathetic. Um, I've got a couple of more uh, uh, titles or things to uh, go through. Um, one is creativity, the power of uh, beauty. And I'm not going to show the prospectus, I was going to show the prospectus, um, but you've seen the uh, remote learning prospectus there, and you can see what I mean by the beauty of images. Um, 
glorious eye-watering images and light uh, commentary on social media. The combination is very powerful. Um, and uh, let the beauty of your images uh, do the talking. Don't take uh, photos of people in the morning, I've found, as they always come out sort of blue and slightly blue and grayish color and uh, washed out and a bit harsh. Um, so d I think don't, don't do that unless, uh, of course, the front of the building at Cotsmoor, when we need to take a photo of the front of the building, the light goes around about 11.30, disappears. So you've got to get the, you know, the, 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 the angles on the building right. But people in the morning, I, I find, never really works. Um, Shine a light again on the glorious wonder that's going on inside your school and project it outwards. Um, I say that again. Um, don't settle for media, media, mediocre images. Just don't, don't do it. Uh, really go for it. Take 20 pictures on that you know, iPhone 11 uh, to choose one. Um, crop it. Take time. Uh, make sure the light's correct. Make sure the angle's suitable. Be discerning. Uh, there's no excuse for mediocre images uh, in the uh, era of mobile technology and digital phone photography. Um, always take your videos, uh, please, for the uh, ask for them to be taken in the landscape. It's so much easier to edit. Um, teach that to your whole staff. Uh, it's so annoying having to edit a long ways video into a, a, a video of sort of where, where it's all been sort of taken like that. Um, so the moving image, um, even more powerful. Strangely enough, the moving image doesn't get as much engagement on social media. It's because people have to watch the whole thing before they like it. And often they only watch 20 seconds of it or whatever. So they're a bit worried that there might be something at the end they shouldn't like. And so often they, they don't like it. It's not liked as much, but so powerful. The people who do watch it, uh, video it, it is so powerful. So I would thoroughly recommend uh, using as much video as possible, especially for, uh, especially for events, like uh, uh, particular events. Um, in, uh, yeah, in the, in the era of virtual open mornings, conferences, video can be very powerful, uh, also make a, uh, a huge difference. So think about the music behind the music is so emotive. It can be so emotive. Think about the music. I often use the free music in, uh, iMovies, but I also use audio network.com. They are super cool and they have half a million songs or something on there and you just buy them and and there it is for, for this really special videos uh for academic video and our sports video i bought i bought a piece of music and there it was um so i thoroughly recommend because it's a bit annoying when you've made this beautiful video and you put this piece of music on that's free from i iMovies and then you the next post you watch is has the same piece of music from the rival school and you think oh, that wasn't very good sort of, uh, I didn't, you know, I want to be separate from them. I don't want to be the same as them. So Audio Network, is, there are loads of other um, streaming services for, um, for, for, for music. Um, so, but Audio Network is the one I, uh, I use. Um, we have a huge amount of footage that we uh, never used for, um, um, so we put it all together for these big ticket videos. We didn't get a company in. Um, they were just a little bit too expensive. I really, really would deeply like to get a Fixus um what's his name i can't remember but he is such an unbelievable genius that man sophie what's his name just so everybody can know um go. i've lost it as well but he's brilliant miles. Miles. i think it is miles miles, miles. miles. yeah go. i mean if you've got the cash my word he i mean it literally the rugby one you're, you're crying in your in your in your cornflakes you know that's what you need you need emotion you need to move people and make people feel the same way as you feel about your school essentially, because everybody at rugby um, feels that way about the school. Of course, they're there, they're passionate. Make people feel that way, you, doing those videos. We don't have the wherewithal. We, you know, we, we, we might do in the future, um, but, you know, video is so, so powerful. Um, so just a couple of more uh, things there. Um, <laughs> embrace your failures. Um, I thought this was going to go absolutely viral, this next video I'm going to show you. Um, it's to do with cricket. And uh, I thought it was going to be mega and it was going to be stardom all round and everybody was just going to be sort of cheering from the rooftops and, and big, uh, you know, big fanfares. And, um, and it didn't. It didn't do it at all. Uh, and so I was... Uh, um, I slightly, there we go. I was, um, yeah, a bit, a bit baffled, and I was slightly sort of hurt. But you've got to move through. You've got to move through, and here it is. 
Looking for I'll start from the beginning. Crick fit. Looking for inspiration to get match fit for the next cricket season? Look no further than Cotsmore School's new fitness program, Crick Fit. For more information on Crick Fit or tractor driving lessons, please email crickfit at cotsmoreschool.com. Crick Fit, inspired by the ECB, driven by Cotsmore School in West Sussex. Tractor not included. So, yeah, I learnt about people's literalism uh, when I put that out because I'm not going to say who, but somebody quite close to me actually thought that was real. And there were people who actually thought it was real. So I'm not saying, I'm not going to say names because that's not, that's not nice or good, but um, watch out. That's what I'm going to say. It's not, I'm, I'm planned to say this, but watch out for people's literalism. Um, you've got to make things very sort of two dimensional or very uh, in, in a way, in a way. So uh, I thought that was going to just go, and I thought the ECB would be calling up and, oh, it's so brilliant. But no, it's uh, embrace your failures, uh, uh, you know, and, and move on, move onwards and upwards. Um, social media, I, I don't know how much uh, time uh, we've got, but we, and I think you all do as well, embrace uh, social media. Um, and I'm just quickly going to show you all of the uh, platforms. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, all of the platforms. So um, LinkedIn, we found, uh, I found very helpful from a mental health perspective and from a professional perspective and to, you know, to some extent from a marketing perspective. And, um, you know, it, it's a great community. Sometimes you get no engagement whatsoever uh, because I think pe people, people have fatigue of these things, especially on the weekends. You know, if you publish something on a, on a Sunday, I think they're more likely to be snuggling up, you know, not thinking of work. Um, but so we have... Um, three Instagram accounts. So we have a, I've decided to do this. It, it's not necessarily what everybody does, but it's um, a, a closed one for safeguarding purposes, an open one and a pre-prep one. Uh, we've got three accounts there. And this is, uh, you know, this is, I, you know, I could have done a sort of three hour talk just on, just using our Instagram. Um, this is super, super fun. Uh, you know, you get the character, you get the joy that I'm talking about. You get the fun. Uh, into the Instagram, that's where it lies. It's a brilliant, brilliant medium for um, getting everything. And this is what I this is what I was talking about before. These little quotes uh, that when I read from other schools, I go, oh gosh, and then uh, I do it myself. So that's what I was talking about before. You know, a bit of snow action. We've got a new farm. Um, you know, put out that you're not going to put you know messages about the farm on the website, really, are you? Because it's not. You know, it, it's between. The, it's the mortar between the bricks, is what I say. Um, it's the stuff that makes the school very, very special and wonderful. Um, uh, so, um, so moving on. Oh yes, moving on to Twitter. We've got lots of accounts on Twitter. Uh, we've again, we've got an open one, a closed one. Uh, we have the Cotsmore connected one, um, and, and loads of sort of old ones that we don't use very much. But um, I think it was interactive schools. Um, sort of taught us five years ago that we need to have a million accounts for um, Twitter and we did that and we've sort of kept them. Uh, Facebook again is very, very complex. I find Facebook and slightly terrifying. It, it sort of goes into the ether when you put things out and you can't find them again. And you, you sort of, um, it's, it, it's very complicated and, and, and quite unwieldy, but it's the, it's the second most successful one after um, uh, sort of social one or not, not professional one after Instagram. So it goes, uh, for us, it goes Instagram, Facebook engagement, and then Twitter is very, very low engagement for us. I know other people who have very high engagement for, for whatever reason, Twitter has just fallen off uh, a cliff for us. Uh, and then, you know, this isn't social media, but it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's all, all of our videos are here uh, on Vimeo. We decided to go for Vimeo, not um, YouTube, because we thought the brand match of, you know, Vimeo quality, it's sort of, it's got that sort of um, mini movie sort of effect, quality, you know, a, a movie awards sort of uh, type, type feel rather than YouTube, which is, um, you know, people singing about the roly poly dogs and um, cats sort of jumping into whatever your complex. Um, but um, so we went for Vimeo. I don't know if you, I'd love to know what you think. And then, okay, so that's that. Um, Good. So, Lucy, um, do you want to say anything? Do, do you think I've left anything out, Lucy? No, Tom, I don't. Do you, I think do, you want, do 
you want to quickly say that thing that you said to me about um, the person? The, 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 yeah, so... I, I was trying to hide for <laughs> eight years um, and, and sort of the, the star of the show was the building. And then Lucy yeah. came along. I came along three years ago, almost. And um, my experience in marketing prior to Cotsmore taught me that a brand is possibly more successful if you link it to a personality so it's relatable there is um, a feeling of warmth and personality and um, you can all see Tom and see what we're working with and, and how incredibly passionate he is about Cotsmore so to me putting the two together made sense and, and having Tom at the forefront of um, everything we do more or less marketing wise um, has been very successful it's something that I think parents that Current parents uh, enjoy that interaction and that that kind of bond that they feel with Tom uh, virtually in addition to face to face. And I think for prospective parents as well, 50 percent of the decision you make in uh, choosing a school is uh, obviously the academia, the extracurricular activities, the building if they're boarding. Um, the teaching staff. But actually, the other half of that decision uh, lies with with the head. Uh, and if you if you feel that your children are in safe, safe hands and happy hands. And um, so, yeah, the, the two I suggested we combine. And um, that's what we've been. That's what we've been working towards and working with. That's perfect, and, Lucy. Thanks very much for um, very so, articulating that uh, so beautifully. And, no and I literally was hiding behind the, the, the Cotsmore Tower um, for, for, for most of my Sort of headmastering career and Lucy said you've got to stop hiding behind the tower and get in front of the camera and in fact you know who it was it was Gareth Dudes he um challenged me uh, I was you know um I don't know what he was doing I think he was playing the piano or something and he said come on Rog come on Tom Rogerson do something on on you know on LinkedIn and then bang it was you know that was that was all that was all I needed uh, plus, um, Lucy sort of, um, sort of hitting me with a stick and poking me with a stick and to, to, to do it. Um, lessons learned in summary, uh, or not even in summary, just to, just the last two the two things I want to talk about. Lessons learned: bring, especially if you're ahead doing this, bring your team with you. That's all I'm going to say. Um, you need to tell the story of why you're doing this stuff, why you're prancing around, why you're. Uh, getting all this beauty and awesomeness uh, uh, down so you can project it out. You're shining a light, you're capturing those moments and you're projecting them out. Why, are, why am I doing that? Why is Lucy doing that? Take them with you, tell the story. I didn't do that and I'm doing it now and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it's almost like backtracking and, uh, uh, and trying to get people to understand the importance of uh, projecting outwards. Um, so I'll be spending more time with the team uh, from this moment, bringing them on board, bringing me with me and us uh, on the journey. And the last thing is, have fun. That's not even a that's not even a marketing or PR thing. Have fun. If it's not fun, forget it. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable if it's not fun. Have that fun. Cotsmore's uh, uh, motif, modern motif, is be kind, work hard, have fun. And if you're doing all those three things in your life, then I reckon you're pretty much a, an awesome success. Um, certainly, we try to capture the fun. We try to inject the fun all the time. And I think that is all I uh, have time for and all the time I've got. Thank you so much.